Hi Pisces, how are you? This is your weekly vlog for the 1st to the 7th of June. Wow, and happy birthday to all the Jemmies if you are a cross watcher. Okay, and thank you very much for subscribing and sharing with family and friends. I hope you enjoyed the romance readings and last week's vlog and uh, uh, I had a good response from uh, Gemini and uh, Virgo I think and um, Capricorn on the romance readings. Wow! Some of them are over a hundred. Ooh, likes, thank you very very much and I hope you enjoyed and watched the reviews as well and I hope you have seen the uh, video for the competition because you can win one of these decks totally new and for free and I've combined it with something that you can do and continue to do um, so long you need to uh, re um, bring your ideas to life or your wishes by manifesting and visualizing and affirming so meditate contemplate and evaluate those are the um, hermit the hanged man the four of swords cards and the high priestess those are all spiritual cards so they reminds us that if we want something then we have to take action uh, to do it and you can do this with help from a vision uh, board not a visionary board which I kept on calling it so sorry <laughs> somebody it um, uh, uh, told me it's not a visionary board it's a vision board so I'm sorry about that and uh, I hope you will join in it's going to be great fun okay you're going to have two three months the time to make one and to practice with it and let i hope to go uh, live in september and announce the winner brenda is going to help me uh, to decide from brenda tarot readings to to uh, be judging it uh, so it won't be biased okay and uh, so my moderators can join in this time last time they couldn't so I uh, if the moderators would like to uh, get a deck then I hope they will join in as well now I'm going to feel into your energy and remember this is a general reading so I'll be picking up very strong energies from all of you and see whether the cards confirm it in the reading okay I think some of you might be traveling I think one or two people might be escaping issues um, or not want don't want confrontations I think you might be very spiritual uh, this week something will become aware your you will become aware of something um, something uh, might come to daylight that you were worrying about perhaps a secret or an issue but I see you traveling okay there are doors opening okay let's have a look now I've shaken the cards whilst I was chatting to you and your first card is the ten of wands the ten of wands okay an ending new beginnings coming out of a heavy period okay seven of ones you might have to defend yourself or feel as if you want to defend yourself you can stand your ground big time okay nine of Pentacles an ending new beginnings well you've had this heavy period there's also an ending and a new beginning you're going into a financial better period okay and the six of swords moving on moving on traveling moving home and the bottom of the deck let's have a look the devil okay avoiding something Okay, now I'm 
bad habits, avoiding bad habits, stopping them. Okay, we've got the snake. Ooh, avoiding poisonous people. Good, good, good for you. I've got to take this. Mountain issues, problems. Making mountains out of molehills. Or making an elephant out of a fly. The heart has come out again. Aquarius had the heart as well. And the coffin. What's the bottom of the deck? Rods. Right. Let's have a look. Now, I've, I've already forgotten what I said um, in the beginning. So, uh, usually it does come back, flitches of it. I said running away from something, not facing something, confrontations. Okay. <clears throat> We've got the Ten of Wands. And this mouse has a heavy load to carry. Wow. So you might have had problems, you might have had quarrels, you might have had a difficult time financially, the end is in sight. You've only got a few steps to go, so don't give up now. The ending is in sight, okay. Ten, an ending. Then we go to the snake. Perhaps you had to cope with somebody that was a snake and you have left them. This could be somebody at work, this could be in a relationship or a friendship and you've broken the friendship off because you've lightened your load. Like um, the hermit, when he meditates or contemplates he evaluates and he lets go of things that are of no use to him. Now you've got the seven here so luck is on your side. Watch out for venomous people, okay? And um, there's a snake in the grass, like I said, so watch out with signing contracts. And you've got the Queen of Rods. You've got the Queen of Rods. So that the Queen of Rods is Leo. So there could have been a Leo that sh showed his or she showed their bad side. It doesn't have to be a woman. It can be a man with a feminine side to him. And that you know, um, this could be a man with a nurturing side to him, and he he comes out as a nurturing, loving type. But in fact, he's the one of the biggest egotistical, egocentrical pe people that you've ever met, and he turns like a snake, or he, he spits venom very quickly, unexpectedly. So be careful of somebody like that. If you're signing contracts, be careful. You don't want to ha carry a heavy load again and problems and issues. Now you've got the seven of ones here and that means that you had to protect yourself from the devil. Look at this. It looks like the devil. Now, and we've got the devil as the general uh, energy. Wow, this is freaking me out, really. Because the devil can be somebody that has a bad habit. It doesn't have to be drinking or listening to music. <laughs> it can also be manipulative. Somebody that's lazy and sits around all day and just watches football and drinks beer and listens to music and smokes dope. That's the worst scenario. <laughs> It could be somebody that's manipulative. It could be somebody that pulls your strings. You're not beholden to anybody. You don't belong to anybody except yourself. So let go. Walk away from this person. Amazing. And you had to defend yourself. And you stood your ground. Well done. Because they were venomous. Good for you. And you've got on the mountain. You used to make mountains out of molehills. Okay. 
and you couldn't take it anymore you couldn't clown keep on climbing that mountain so you walked the path you took your time to realize to come out of this relationship it was too fiery definitely you've got the eight of wands here the eight of wands that means news news that they that this person has an addiction and they've been taken into hospital something like that I see institutions not only hospital could be jail could be a dry out clinic so you've been creative 21 is 3 creativity and you've got the eight of wands here so that means news things are happening all at once it doesn't rain it pours boom 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 things loads of things news through cyber text message email telephone call you might even be traveling like I said you walked away you walked away you wanted a new beginning you perhaps you might be just going on holiday but you're traveling Whew. and now you're coming into the money perhaps you walked away got divorced and you're getting money now you're going into a better period as an end of a period you don't have to worry anymore it has hurt you though it's touched your heart it really has touched your heart and again you've got jack of hearts here so you're going to get news it could be news about a new love it could be news about something that you're passionate about but you're back in balance six is balance and you've got another six so you've got a double number the angels have your back you're moving away from rough waters and you're going to quieter waters you might even be moving home or going on holiday so that's definitely it you've got the eight of wands here and this big card making a statement look at the dragon the monster you are leaving the monsters behind <laughs> I love it how they come together you're in a transformational period again an eight so if you see eight eight the number eight that's significant you've got eight eight here eight eight double numbers and you've got nine nine okay wow so transformation the angels have your back okay and nine and nine is eighteen and that becomes nine so eight and nine are significant numbers endings and new beginnings where there is an ending new beginnings and you've got the nine of pentacles here the nine of coins nine of pentacles that is big time you can you can even buy a scratch card and most probably win money take the number 9 or 99 or 88 or 8 new beginnings and there could be arguments because that's what the rods mean angel number 11 and that is the jack jack of rods so you've got the jack of hearts here that's the page of hearts news about love or passion or a job offer or the page of rods so that's cancer scorpio page of the page of cups is pisces so it could be pisces but don't exclude cancer or scorpio and the page of rods is um sagittarius but don't exclude aries or um aries leo or aries so you might have had an argument with the with a fire sign or the queen of fire so that's quite prominent 
Leo. Leo is prominent. But it is amazing that you've got 8, 8, 9, 9 and 11. Wow. And 15 becomes a 6. So you've got 6, 6 double numbers. And it could even be 6, 6, 6. As you've got 3 6's added up. And 2 7's. This is crazy. I've never met that or seen it before. Like 7, 7 moving up to 8, 8, 9, 9. Where's the other 9? I've lost the other 9 now. 9. So 7, 8 and 9 are double numbers and 11. Okay. Uh, that is really amazing. So you are lucky. So take those numbers, write them down, and uh, do one of these number cards and fill in those numbers. Um, I think it's in Holland is the lotto. Okay. And you've got forgiving and learning. Yes, you can forgive that person for being so silly, for being hurtful or manipulative or be taking an, uh, an addiction on or a bad habit. They caused problems um, and they were mean but you've left them behind. You stood your ground. You defended yourself and you can forgive and you have learned because there's new love coming in. As you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments. There you go. And your angel feather for today, or this week, the 1st to the 7th, is the violet, violet feather. Spiritual growth and peace. Yes, you'll definitely, when you've walked away, you will have peace. No more arguments. And you will have spiritually grown. You have definitely got faith in yourself. The angels are present. They definitely are with 7, 7, 8, 8, 9, 9 and 11. The angels are present to acknowledge that you have recently experienced an incident or event that has ele uh, elevated your spirituality. And your spirituality can also be your own spiritual self your own realizing your own worth your own happiness you cannot love anybody else if you don't love yourself you have to like yourself and love yourself respect yourself then you can only get it back from an other person there you go don't always be the giver okay Pisces that was your reading I hope you liked that reading and I hope to see you in the life. Thank you very much for giving me uh, your appreciation by giving us thumbs up and sharing with family and friends. I hope you have a beautiful week and I hope it will be beautiful weather. And go and sit in the sun and soak up those beautiful yellow rays of gold. Archangel Jovial will be with you. Ciao, ciao and be blessed. Thank you.